Anim Buju band members, today is Tuesday, October 18th, starting off with the COVID-19 case update. And there is one new case in District 1, which we are now at the number of 396. District 2, no new cases, still at 66. And District 3, 90, no new cases reported. October 31st is the all day flu shot vaccinating clinics. And those are gonna be scheduled in all our districts. So you can call and make an appointment, 320-532-4163. And also you can uh, inquire and schedule appointments for the COVID-19 vaccine or the bivalent booster if you need one. The Victim Services Program invites you to join them for lunch. The program will hold four luncheons on four different days. And each of the district community centers will host one of the luncheons. And this is to begin a conversation. And it's, let's talk about domestic violence awareness. More information, the date, time, and place will be found on Facebook. Tomorrow, it is the October Elder event, and that is at the Grand Casino Mille Lacs Convention Center. And you can confirm RSVP by emailing Beth Gruber, and it is bgruber at mlcv.com. Or you can leave a message. 320-532-8810. I went to the last one. It was um, very educational. They talked about the uh, workforce housing, had a lot of uh, questions, and they were able to answer those. So it'll be interesting to see what tomorrow's agenda item will be. Hope that you can make it. The Urban Area Pet Clinic has spots available for spay and neuter surgeries during the Friday, October 28th Pet Clinic. Please call 612-872-1424 to register and sign up for the surgery for your animal. The District 1 Free Pet Clinic offered by Student Initiative Reservation Veterinary Services and Secondhand Hounds will be Saturday, November 12th and Sunday, November 13th. Wellness checkups and vaccines are first come, first serve. Currently, there are only a few spots open for male cat neuter surgeries. Please call Tim Taggart at 320-532-7733 for a surgery appointment. There are a couple of weeks left to send in your submission for the annual band member photo contest. And many of you have probably some excellent photography, and this is a fun opportunity for you to have your work published. If you have a photo that you've taken in the past year that you really love, send it to news at malaxband.com. The contest rules can be found at malaxband.com. If you watch TV on a regular basis, there's campaign ad, campaign ad after campaign ad. A lot of that is gearing up for the election. And currently it is early voting. So you can go to your county seat and vote. Also, we recommend that you take um, your family and friends with you to the polls on election day if you don't do early voting. As we think about who to vote for the upcoming general election, we should keep in mind candidates who support tribal nations in the state of Minnesota. And again, I have to give a shout out to Governor Tim Walls and Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan. And they created a tribal state relations office this past year. And they are actually the very first governor and lieutenant governor that have did this. And when you think about all the work that they have did and their relationship and how they respect tribal government, 
that I want to give them that shout out because they have probably, in my tenure of being chief executive, the best governor and lieutenant governor that have worked with tribes. And I've worked with a lot of governors. And um, the general election is just weeks away. And again, make sure you're registered to vote. And if you can take advantage of voting early, and as always, your vote matters. And the Indian vote is so strong. And when we get out and vote, we make a difference of who we elect in the state of Minnesota. So government affairs will be sending out information about the candidates. And I have also had someone ask me about all the judicial seats that are up. So we will also provide information on that as well. I had an interesting meeting yesterday, went down to the cities and we met with the president of the University of Minnesota. Joan Gable is her name. And she invited all the tribal leaders to talk about education here in the state of Minnesota. And if you remember that you have the opportunity to attend the University of Minnesota free of charge, if you are a tribal member enrolled in one of the 11 tribes, it's very good to have these leaders recognize the importance of tribal leaders and the voices that they bring from the people and how they make things happen at our universities. And there has been a huge increase of Native Americans attending the University of Minnesota facilities from Crookston, Morris, Duluth, the cities. And that's very important that we get our folks trained so that they can be leaders for each other reservations or other entities as well. So with that, I'd like to say good day, and I will talk to you soon. Miigwech.